Yeah, no one here. Well, I'm a lucky one. I won another giveaway. So, so those will be two things I've won now from um, watching YouTube. Whereas I haven't won anything before that since I was about 19. So. <laughs> and I won this giveaway from Pudlebo. So, thank you, Pud. And it arrived today on Christmas Eve, so early Christmas present. And she even wrapped it up beautifully for me. So that was really sweet. So I'm going to open So she sent me a toe microfiber sponge. So that'll be interesting to see how I like that one. I'll have to try that out. And I got three little palettes from Chi Chi. So it is the lemonade one and the pink fantasy one and the OMFG. So I like, um, hang on, I'll get rid of this. I like TT and it's TT is an Australian brand and they're all cruelty free. And, um, I haven't seen these particular type of palettes though in in store anywhere. And um, I thought I'd do a look. So um, which one shall I use? Well, since I'm wearing red and green and I've got my little Christmas headband on. I might use this one here because it's got green and red in it. I'm thinking I might save this one to give to my oldest daughter for Christmas because it's um, got some blues in there that she really likes and been getting into. I'm very tempted to keep it though because it's beautiful. Look how beautiful there is. And then another beautiful pink one. I shall open it up. Let's have a look. I've done my eyebrows and I've put my primer on. Very well packaged. They came in a little thing in the box, so it was all very well packaged. And here she is. It's very pretty. All right. Got a, got four shimmers. So we've got a purple shimmer, a light green shimmer, an aqua shimmer, and a dark green shimmer. And the rest of those look like they're mattes. This one looks like it's got a tiny bit of shimmer, but I would say that it's actually a matte though. So let me get a brush. I'm going to start off with the orange. <laughs> it was very predictable. I want to put off the colour on my brush. Nice and pigmented. And then I'm going to go into the red. I'm going to use the same brush. And again, just picking up lots of the brush. Now I'm going to get a fluffy brush. I'm get this one. And I'm going to go into this yellow. Look how yellow the yellow is. That's good. You good, Prue? I like them. Maybe I'll ask my daughter if she wants this one first. And if she says not really, then I will keep it. <laughs> and I think I'm going to go super, super duper Christmas and go into this light green one. And I'm just using this dry. I'm not using any glitter glue. It's just it's the tacky base from my eye primer, which I'm using the Milani eye primer. That is a very pretty green. And then I'm going to go in with this other green here. Just in the outside corner. I feel like a Christmas elf now. <laughs> because it's definitely Christmassy colours. Very 
very appropriate for the season. <laughs> And now I'm just gonna kind of tidy it up, release it a bit. That's what I'm looking like. They worked really well. So I'm gonna tidy up underneath, and then I'll see what I want to do underneath. I think I want to go green underneath. So I'm going to get this is my dark green pencil and I'm going to go in with the dark green and then I'm going to go in with the lighter green again I'll open this and I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna go wet this and dry it out. Okay. So here's my sponge now that I've wet it. It, came, it actually came with some instructions. So you're supposed to wet it, squeezing it for 15 seconds in the water. You can use it wet or dry, it says, but I'm gonna use my wet. And it says don't put the product straight on the sponge, which I never do anyway. So that's all good. So I'll put my primer on. And I think I will use my Colourpop primer because I've been using it quite a lot this month, so I know how this works. I'm just going to put that on with my hands. And I'm going to apply my makeup the way I normally would. So then I'm going to spray with my facial spray from the body shop and then I'm going to go in with my Matte and Poreless Maybelline foundation so I'll put it on the back of my hand and then dot it on my face now normally I spread it out with my brush but I'm going to um, use my sponge instead just to see how it works. So I'm kind of spreading it out with my finger, but I am going to use my sponge. So it's got a flat end and it's got a flat side and I've just got foundation on it because I had foundation on my fingers. So I'm just going to pat it on and it says it's supposed to um, absorb a lot less of the foundation. So that more of it stays on your face and less of it goes on your sponge. And I can definitely say a lot more of it is on my face than what I normally notice. So, <laughs> so it definitely does that. And there's not that much on my sponge. That maybe this is what I need to use if I actually wanted a full cover foundation because none of my foundations ever look full cover. Because that's way more full colour cover than what I usually see with this foundation. Interesting. I don't feel I need to put any more on. <laughs> so I'm just going to use my concealer. Now I'm very familiar with this concealer because I have been using it all year trying to pan it. So I know what this normally looks like. And I, I normally, um, I just spread it out with my little brush first and then I go over it with a sponge so I'll do that and my eyes as I've been saying all my videos are all dry it's, it feels this the sponge is damp and you can feel it's damp when you squeeze it but when you put it on your face it feels quite dry It's a very interesting sponge. It definitely leaves more product on your face than what the sponges I normally do. I am. Um, 
I usually use the OXX ones from um, Kmart. This one's being used. This one's being washed. <laughs> it's still a bit damp, so it's not as small as it usually is. But this one's clean. This one's dirty. <laughs> but um, so this is the sponge that I usually use, and. It works pretty well. I'm pretty happy with that sponge. I got the Colourpop one when I brought the pretty fresh range of stuff. And this one I didn't like at all. It just seemed to take my makeup off rather than spread it around and put it on. But this one definitely leaves lots more product on my face. Oh, I've got a little here. But it doesn't look cakey or anything. So... Interesting. I will be interested to experiment with that some more with some of my other foundations. I chose this foundation because um, I, I like the finish on this foundation normally. So, yeah. Okay. So that's good. Now, I just went and showed my daughter the green palette. In the mermaid one and she said oh pretty and so she wants it so <laughs> it's hers now so pretty thank you for the Christmas present for Melissa <laughs> she greatly appreciates it and I'm sure she will probably end up wearing it tomorrow and for Christmas <laughs> so I will make sure she knows that um, it was from you really <laughs> Since it's Christmas Eve, I'm calling it a Christmas present. <laughs> okay, I'm just looking around tidying my desk and not really doing anything. <laughs> so I am going to do the rest of my face and then I'll come back. And this morning so far I have already been to the grocery store. I woke up at 7 and I thought, I'll go at 8. I went at 8 and it was... Manically, once a year, this I get at 8 a.m. I should have gone at 7. And I only live in a small town, so it doesn't get as crazy as it could do in, in the city. But um, everyone had the same idea as me, and they all wanted to go early. Now, what, do I, what am I doing? I need to powder. I lost my earrings. I took them off when I was doing something. And I can't figure out where I put them. Because I had some red and green and silver gold bell earrings. Let's see if I can find them. <laughs> I'm just rambling today. But yeah. it's Christmas Eve, why not? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if my other daughter will like this one or not. It's not that I don't want them. It's just that because I gave Melissa one because the colours were just her colours at the moment. Um, I might see if she wants this one just in case. Yeah, you have to be fair. And um, she is into purple. Not so much into pink, but she is into purple, so she might like that one. And, and this one was so good that I'm sure the others were just as good. So I am, um, I am going to finish my face <laughs> and come back. But I'm also going to ask my other daughter if she likes the look of this one. So here is my look. With my giveaway win from Prairie Lou. My OMFG TT eyeshadow palette. I really like it. It worked really well, and the colours are beautiful. And as I said, I didn't wet my brush or anything. My eyes have been a little bit watery because of hay fever, so I'll just ignore that. But it isn't doing what it's supposed to because it's just my eyes being watery. But um, it's really, it's really pretty. And um, <laughs> now, now I only have one of the palettes because. Um, I spread the love around and um, both my daughters decided they would really like a palette each as well. So we all got an early Christmas present. Thank you, Brooke. <laughs> and I really like the sponge as well. My foundation looks pretty good, I think. So I will enjoy experimenting with that a bit more. I'm not offering that to anybody either. Because <laughs> I would like some of my prize. <laughs> so... Thank you so much, Prue. Um, it was a great, a great early Christmas present for me. <laughs> and I'm wearing my Australis Slay All Day lip stain in Slay Like a Babe with the Melting Heart Cover Girl Gel Yes 125 over the top. And I found this.
inside my earrings. I knew they were somewhere in the house, I just couldn't remember where I put them when I took them off. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed having to play and doing a little Christmas look. So, Merry Christmas everyone. Bye. Thanks for watching.